Hello everybody, it is me Grace and today I'm going to be doing my crystal collection. Um, after doing my tarot deck collection and mentioning that I was also into crystals, a lot of you guys asked for this video. So here we go. I really didn't expect for very many people to watch my tarot deck collection video because it's not about books. Um, but you guys really actually liked it a lot and so um, I really appreciate that. Um, that makes me feel really good when you guys, you know, like to watch other types of videos from me. And I definitely will make more similar videos to this in the future if you guys tell me. And like I said in my tarot video, if you guys don't tell me that you like this video and that you want more videos like it, then I probably won't make more um, and I'll just go back to books. So if you love this type of video from me, please, please, please leave me a comment and let me know so that, you know, I can make that for you. So I've split these crystals up into two categories and that is crystals that I know what they are and their names and everything and then the crystals that I don't know what they're called I don't know their names it's really helpful knowing what they are because you can look up more information about them but I still do love my crystals you know that I don't know what they're called because um, you can just feel the energy from them <laughs> some people really connect like a spiritual meaning to them and kind of use them to you know maybe calm anxiety or use them for other ways to manifest something or just to make themselves feel good. I personally love having them as a calming tool, um, just something I can hold on to and kind of set an intention to. And I do f like to try to feel the energy from these crystals. Um, it's not for everybody, but I personally love using crystals and so yeah, and they're also so beautiful, so it's pretty cool to learn about them and how many different types of crystals there are in the world. It's really crazy. So I'm going to start with my absolute favorite crystals. I have two crystals that are my ultimate favorites. First one I have here is selenite. Um, so I just have this little small scale one here, and I just love the reflection on it. It reminds me of the moon. Um, and then I also have this huge um, rounded crystals. And rounded crystals are supposed to be more energe energetic because, um, you know, it's been said that crystals emit their most energy at the corners and the places that they point. And so um, a rounded crystal is supposed to emit, emit like equal energy from all sides. And it's supposed to be like extra energy extra energy the bigger slices of crystals they can get pretty pricey and selenite is fairly affordable in comparison to everything else so there's that and the thing i love about this crystal is it's very beautiful it reminds me of the moon but i also just feel a lot of good energy from it when i pick it up and when i'm holding it some crystals will just call to you more and um, will work for you better. The next crystal is the crystal that I feel the most energy towards every time I pick it up out of every single crystal I have, including selenite. It's Tiger's Eye. Here's one of the ones I have and here's the other. Um, I think it's really beautiful too. I don't know what about it. Um, works for me so well but it really does so next we have goldstone or gold gold something um and this is a man-made crystal and it's made from like a combination of different crystals i know something in there is copper i don't know what else is in there and i don't even know if copper is considered a crystal but um i'm not like an expert on this guys just so you know but it is like a combination of different ones and it's very, very beautiful. I feel energy from it, but not as much as some of the other ones I've had. However, these are some of the most beautiful crystals I have, the little sparkles. So I have the orange one, this one, which is always one that people tell me is really pretty. It looks kind of like the night sky. Um, and then I also have a green one too. 
So there's Goldstone. Next we've got Classic Clear Quartz. This is said to be one of the pow most powerful crystals in the world. Um, I think it's really great to have if you're just getting into crystals to start with clear quartz. There's literally so many different types of quartz. It's kind of insane. Um, so it's a very like, I don't know, it's a very mother crystal of many different types. For example, we've got rose quartz. This crystal is known as the love stone, um, specifically for romantic love, but other love too. Um, that's what it is most known for, the rose quartz. I have two of those. Then we've got the other crystal that's also known to be one of the most powerful um, energetically is amethyst. And I can't remember if amethyst is like a type of quartz or not. Sorry guys, I'm not going to know all these little details about these. I just, I just don't. Um, I have this huge one here of amethyst that is so beautiful and I keep it right next to my nightstand um, and then I also have a small amethyst and then um, I do have two necklaces that have amethyst in them my favorite way to um, use crystals is to wear them and necklaces make it just perfect and I can just kind of hold on to my necklace when I'm kind of feeling that anxiety or anything so this one has the amethyst inside of like this plastic out outer cover. Um, it's got it inside there. And then I also have one that just has the stone really simply there. And then I also have this clear quartz necklace. It's really long. Oh, I always have to give the camera a second to readjust. And then I guess I'll just share the last necklace that I have um, since we're going with that. And it is the Jade and Onyx Balance Necklace. Yeah, I always wear it whenever I'm feeling out of balance. I get really into this kind of thing, you guys, okay? <laughs> the next type of quartz that I have is Smoky Quartz. Um, and I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up, but it's actually pretty transparent. Um, like you can see through it pretty easily, but I don't think the camera's picking it up. Um, and this one I feel a good amount of energy from. I really like to use this one. I always use my crystals on my dog as well. <laughs> um, and he loves them. Like I have him sniff them and he's just like all over them. It's so funny. And smoky quartz, I think is the one that draws him the most for some reason. He's just obsessed with the smoky quartz. I think it's pretty funny. The next stone that I have here, or crystal, is um, citron. And this one is supposed to give you lots of energy and motivation and just make you feel energized and ready to go. And I find that accurate for myself. Um, sometimes I'll read a crystal's meaning and I won't think that it's very like accurate to what I feel when I'm around that crystal, but I do always feel a lot more energy when I have my citron near me. I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing that right, but I could be wrong, so just bear with me there. The next crystal I have here is pyrite. This is another one that I consistently feel a lot of energy from, and I don't know what it is. The next few crystals that I'm going to share are ones that I'm pretty sure what they are, but I'm not 100%. Um, and so I have this little crystal healer book and I do recommend if you want to get into crystals to get a little guide for yourself because it's just really helpful. This one divides like the crystals up by color. This is not a comprehensive guide. Like if you watched my tarot deck collection video, you know that I have this crystal spirits tarot deck and I had no idea how many crystals there were in the world until I started flipping through these cards in this deck. It is actually insane how many crystals there are that I had no idea about and none of them are in this book. But for the ones that are in this book, it is super helpful because it gives a lot of information about the crystal, both like spiritual uses and practical uses and all this different types of stuff. So this is the next crystal that I have. And all that I know about it is that it's supposed to be coined the sunstone and I don't think that's its official name but that's its like nickname I think and it could be its official name but I'm pretty sure it has a different one um 
but I do always feel really good when I have my sunstone and I kind of group it with the citron for me where it does make me feel energetic and motivated. The next one that I have is titanium quartz and again I'm pretty sure that's what this is called but I could be wrong it's very iridescent. I'm not sure if titanium quartz is just quartz that has been painted with rainbow or if it literally comes out looking like this. I have no idea. Um, if it literally comes out this rainbow iridescent color that is literally magic, but I don't know. So, you know, do your own research <laughs> before you go thinking that. This next one, I don't know if it's opal or something else, <laughs> but I mostly use it, well, I'll, I'll show you it first. So this is what it looks like. And it's very transparent, so you can see through it pretty easily. Let me see if I can do something cool on the camera. <laughs> so um, that's what I use it for mostly is to look through it because it just makes the world look really beautiful and sometimes when I'm bored I'll just go like that. So these next ones I don't know what they're called so I'm just going to go through them and show you guys them. really heavy and it's like a gray color. I think it's showing up on the camera as black, but it's a gray color. And very heavy. This next one I always feel a lot of energy from and I wish I knew what it was called, but I don't. And the last four that I'm going to show you, I'm going to look up in my book because I found crystals that I think might be the one, but you know, it's not a for sure thing. So Okay, so this is Hidden Night there, and this is the crystal that I think it might be. It looks a little bit more blue on camera. The other one that I found in this book that I thought might match is Adjoit, this one. And I also thought this other crystal that I have might match that as well. And crystals will either come in like a smooth, um, I don't know, like more processed form like this, or they'll come in their like rocky form like this. But it doesn't mean that just because you see a picture that looks more like this, that the processed one isn't the same. So that's something to keep in mind when you're looking up your crystals. This one I'm pretty sure is either obsidian or onyx, but I don't know. And it's just literally jet black, so I don't know how to tell, unfortunately. Okay, the two in the book that I thought matched this guy right here is either this, and when I look at it on camera, I'm like, hmm. Maybe not. The colors do and can vary a little bit, so that's something to keep in mind. But this one is the one I think is closer. That might be it. You can see halite. This is side by side. But I'm not 100% on that. The important thing about crystals is not the like aesthetics of them, but the energy that you feel from them. So if you forget a crystal's name and you can't look up what it is, it's it's okay. Just use it how it was meant to be out in nature and just finding it and just feeling that energy from it. And that's what's important. A few I forgot to talk about were, we've got aquamarine. I have two pieces of aquamarine. And then I'm pretty sure these are called agate slices. And if I looked it up, I could find what this was immediately, but, you know, I'll do it after this video and let you guys know in the comments, maybe. So I have this purple one. I'll show you the other side as well. And then I have this blue one. And these are seriously so beautiful. You can see the little sticker that has residue there, unfortunately. <laughs> these are two of my favorite. I love just holding them between my hands like this 
and kind of talking to myself or talking to the universe or to God or whatever you believe in. Since you stay to the end of the video, you get a special surprise and that is to see some extra kind of witchy, energetic things that I have that I kind of use in um, to for calming purposes or for spiritual purposes, etc. So something I love and something I've loved since I was a little girl and I'm sure many of you guys can relate is seashells. So I love to use seashells just to feel more connected to the ocean and just to hold them like I would a crystal. Um, here I have this one. Um, but I don't have a lot of seashells. You know, I am pretty picky when I go to the beach and I collect a lot of seashells, but I'll only keep the ones that I really, really love. So I have this one that I actually got at a gray sand beach and I liked that it was gray because it reminded me of the sand there. And then I have this beautiful big um, cream seashell. I have this little like snail twisted <laughs> um, one, it could be like a crab or something, I'm not sure. I think seashells are the most beautiful gift, they're free, they are so much fun to go like hunting for seashells on the little the beach and once I live by a beach, hopefully someday, I can um, get a lot more and put them in a nice little jar. This one is like this tiny one that I have. And then the last one is this one, which is so beautiful. Um, it's got these red tiger-like um, stripes on there. It's just... I love it. I also forgot, I have this crystal that I got somewhere. And I'm pretty sure... Uh, I don't remember what it was called, but I had to crack it open. So it came in like this, you know, enclosed rock and I literally had to take a hammer and crack it open and it was so much fun. I highly recommend. I gave the other half to one of my friends. I got this in Colorado, I think, is where I got it. I find a big spiritual connection in elephants, so I love having them around my room. I just like the visuals. Um, this elephant says, today is your lucky day. The other thing I have is these healing health balls. And these are what they look like. I've always loved the sound of like wind chimes and everything, but if I hear it too often, it will annoy me. So I've never wanted a wind chime, but these, they make the same effect. I love just ringing it in my ear like the frickin' Polar Express bell, I believe, okay? Um, and it's just really nice. Okay. Now that you've seen the weird things in my cupboards, make sure you guys subscribe because I'm posting videos every Sunday here on Happy Reading. Again, if you like this type of thing, you gotta let me know because it's very different from my usual content, so I'm just not going to know if you want me to do more of these videos unless you leave a comment for me. So if you like this type of thing, if you like witchy things, if you want me to do like a tarot reading for you guys or even talk about my journey with spirituality that I'm still going through, um, I would love to do that. Just let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.